Hi, welcome to Yoga TX. I'm Jen Hillman. Thanks for joining me on day three of our seven day weight loss yoga challenge. So we're moving right along and really getting into our yoga practice. I hope you're having fun with me. We are gonna get started with day three. So as you're building your strength, we're gonna to start to pick up the pace. We've got a little bit of a challenging practice today. Just stay calm, stay focused, stay with your deep breath, and follow me. We're gonna begin by turning your feet parallel on your mat with all 10 toes facing forward. Lift up on your legs, lift up on your waist. Take an inhale and extend your arms up overhead. As you exhale, fold your body forward. Just starting to stretch and loosen up the backs of your legs, the backs of your hips and your spine. Bend your knees as much as you need to really let your upper body completely release. Let your head and shoulders relax down towards the floor. And as you inhale, lift your spine, reaching your heart forward. Hug your shoulder blades onto your back. Scoop your belly up and in. Take another full inhale right here. Big breath. Then exhale and fold all the way forward over your legs. Plant your hands down on your mat and step your feet back to a plank pose. So this is just like the top of a push-up. Firm up your legs behind you. Lift your belly up and in. Roll your heart open. Lower your knees straight down to the mat, or you can keep them lifted for an added challenge. Take an inhale to lengthen your heart forward. And as you exhale, bend your elbows 90 degrees. Pause as you exhale completely. At the bottom of your breath, lower all the way down. Untuck your toes. Lift your shoulder bones towards the sky and inhale to peel your heart open. Lift through your chest. Exhale to release and make your way to downward facing dog. Lift your hips up towards the upper back corner of your room. Press forward through your hands and stretch your heels towards the earth. It's okay if your knees stay bent a little bit. It's most important that you extend your heart through your shoulders so your biceps will come alongside your ears. Lengthen your spine as you stretch your hips up towards the sky. Take one more breath in right here, filling your lungs completely with air. And Exhale completely, press all of the air out. At the bottom of your exhale, lift your gaze forward and start to walk your feet up to meet your hands. And fold over your legs and remember, you can always bend your knees if you need to. Inhale to lengthen your spine, drawing your heart forward Roll your shoulders onto your back and scoop your belly in. And exhale and fold all the way down. On your next inhale, stand all the way up, bringing your arms with you. Extend your arms, grow tall through your waist, and exhale, bringing your hands to prayer at your heart. Let's move through this flow one more time. Inhale, extending your arms up. Exhale and fold it forward, coming all the way down. Inhale to lift halfway. Lift through your belly. Roll your shoulders onto your back. And exhale and fold. Plant your hands and step back to your plank pose. Remember, you can keep your knees up if you'd like or you can lower them straight down. Keep your belly lifted and supported as you inhale, open through your heart. 
Exhale, pause, Chaturanga Dandasana. Exhale completely and release down to the floor. Untuck your toes, firm up your legs, roll your shoulders to the sky and inhale as you peel your heart away from the mat. Exhale, pressing yourself back to downward facing dog. Lift your hips high. Really think about stretching your sitting bones up towards the corner of the room. Really lift and lengthen through the backs of your legs. Press forward through your finger pads and through your knuckle mounds to invite the strength of your arms. Take one more full breath in and out. Lift your gaze. You can take one giant step or walk your feet forward to meet your hands. Inhale to lift your spine halfway up. Exhale to fold it down. And inhale to rise, standing all the way up. Sweep your arms overhead. And exhale, bringing your hands to prayer at your heart. Now we're going to change it up a bit, taking sun salutation B. So bend your knees generously so that your finger pads brush the floor. Keep sitting deep in your legs as you hug your belly in, lift your belly away from your thighs. Then sweep your arms up overhead, bringing your biceps alongside your ears. Invite the strength of your upper back. Keep hugging your belly in. Take one more inhale and fold forward as you exhale. Inhale to lift your spine halfway up. Scoop your belly in. Exhale and fold. Plant your hands. Step back. Inhale as you open your heart. Exhale, chaturanga. Exhale completely before you lower down to the floor. Untuck your toes. Roll your heart up. Inhale to your cobra pose. And exhale to your downward facing dog. Step your right foot forward between your hands and turn your left heel down towards your mat. Inhale to rise, extending your arms up overhead. Keep your right knee bent and keep lifting through your waist. And exhale and plant your hands down on your mat. Step back to your plank pose. Inhale to prepare, knees up or down. Exhale, chaturanga. At the bottom of your breath, release your body down. Inhale to your cobra pose. Peel your chest up using the strength of your back. And release and press yourself back to downward facing dog. And lift your left leg. Step it forward between your hands. Turn your right heel down to the floor. Then inhale and rise, extending your arms up overhead. Keep a deep lunge in your left leg. Lift out of your waist and return your hands to the floor. Plank pose one more time. Again, you always have a choice. Knees up or down. Inhale to prepare. Exhale to your chaturanga. At the bottom of your breath, release yourself down. Inhale, Cobra Pose. Peel your shoulders down away from your ears. And exhale to your downward facing dog.
press your hands down into the earth. Lift your hips up towards the sky and stretch your heels down to the ground. At the bottom of your exhale, lift your gaze. Take one big step or a few little steps, bringing your feet up to meet your hands. Inhale to lift through your spine, lift your belly in. Exhale and fold. And bend your knees deeply, generously. Lift your belly away from your thighs and then inhale, extend your arms up alongside your ears. Curl your chest up and exhale as you stand bringing your hands to prayer at your heart. You ready to flow? All right. I'm gonna do a little challenge, stepping it up today. So bend your knees again, shift your weight onto your right leg. So you shift your weight over, cross your left knee over your right thigh. You may even be able to hook your right toes, your left toes, around your right calf. If that's not happening for you today, just hug your thighs together, okay? So we try and wrap, but maybe not. We do your best. Then bring your left arm underneath your right elbow. Maybe you press the backs of your hands together. If you have a little bit more room to move, you can even start to cross your palms together. Sink deeply into your hips as you stretch your fingertips towards the sky. Eagle pose. Untwist your arms, untwist your legs, extend your left leg back behind you and your fingertips back behind you. Try and lift your left leg as much as you can so your body is in one straight line. Then release your fingertips to the floor. Kick your left leg up as high as you can, standing split. Now reach your left toes back, as far back as you can, until they land at the back of your mat. Keep your right knee bent. Keep your left knee strong. With the strength of your legs supporting your body, inhale and rise, sweeping your arms up overhead. Grow tall through your waist, hugging your belly up and in. Slowly start to turn, twisting your heart towards the right. Extend your arms out alongside your chest. Keep your legs strong and powerful as you hug your belly in and twist. Slowly come back to center, extending your arms up again. And now turn your left heel down to the mat, opening to your warrior two position. If you're feeling tired, you can take a break, but I encourage you to hang in there Stay with us, we're really heating up your body, starting to burn some calories, and building strength and stamina in your body. All right, from here, bring your left hand onto your hip. Reach your right fingertips to the floor, a few inches in front of your right foot. You might hop your left foot in a little bit to shift your weight over your right leg Keep your shoulders stacking, keep your hips stacking as you start to lift your left leg up and back behind you. Now I know this is a challenging pose. This was one of the hardest ones for me for a really long time. So stay with us, keep practicing until you start to feel more confident here. Then you'll release your left hand to the floor, square your hips. Kick your left leg as high as you can one more time. And 
and then release your left foot down to the mat. So you're coming back into your forward fold. Inhale to lift your spine halfway up. Exhale and fold your body down. Inhale to stand all the way up. Bring your arms with you, extending through your waist. And as you exhale, bring your hands to prayer at your heart. And we'll try this sequence on the other side. So bend your knees, sink your weight down towards the earth. Shift your weight this time over to your left leg, and you'll cross your right thigh over your left. Really try and cross your thighs as high as you can, so eventually, you can hook your right toes behind your left calf. But remember, if that's not happening for you today, don't worry. Just cross your legs and squeeze everything into the middle. Then we bring in the arms. Right arm goes underneath. You maybe squeeze the backs of your hands together or wrap your forearms and squeeze your hands together. Sink your hips low as you stretch your fingertips high. Keep lifting through your belly. Stay focused with your gaze. And we slowly unwind and extend your right leg back behind you. We're still balancing on that left foot. It, even if it's getting tired, stay with it. Don't give up. Lift your right leg as high as you can and lower your right fingertips to the ground. Kick your right toes even higher. And now we're start to come into your lunge. So reach your right toes back, back, back as far as you can. Firm up the strength of your right leg behind you so it's super strong and powerful. And inhale to rise, extending your arms up. Hug your belly in, grow tall out of your waist, and trust in the strength of your legs. And slowly we start to twist. Open your heart towards the left. Extend your arms out alongside your shoulders. Keep lifting through your belly as you extend through your fingertips. Maintain the strength of your legs. Don't give up. And we slowly return to center. Go nice and easy. No need to rush. Now let's move into our warrior two by turning your right heel down to the mat. Extend your arms out and lunge deeply into your left knee. Keep your belly toning up and in, and let your breath be fluid and steady. Now bring your right hand onto your hip. Reach your left fingertips to the floor a few inches in front of your left toes. Step your right foot in to help you shift your weight over your left leg and slowly start to extend your right leg up and back behind you. Keep stacking your shoulders open, keep stacking your hips open, and find a point on the floor where you can focus your gaze. Then release your right fingertips down Kick your right foot as high as you can. One more time, really lift and release your right leg down to the floor. Coming back to your forward fold. Let the weight of your head drop down towards the earth. Inhale to lift your spine halfway up, hugging your belly in. Roll your shoulders onto your back and exhale and fold all the way down. rising all the way up bring your arms up towards the sky stretching growing tall and we'll exhale bringing your hands to prayer at your heart 
You feeling good? Feeling nice and warm. Let's go ahead and come all the way down onto our backs and do a little bit of core work before we bring our practice to a close. Once you make your way onto your back, extend your feet up towards the sky. Bring your hands behind your head and lift your heart up towards your knees. So you curl your head and shoulders away from the mat. Hug your belly down. Then slowly lower your right leg to hover just a few inches above your mat. And then switch, lowering your left leg down. And switch. And switch. Going nice and slow. Scissor your legs, one and then the other. Right leg down, left leg down. Right leg down left leg down. Let's do one more time on both sides. Right and left. And hug your knees into your shoulders. Take a moment to relax. Take a deep breath. And again, bring your hands behind your head. Then extend your left leg to hover just above your mat, keeping your right knee bent. Curl your head and shoulders away from the mat and twist your left elbow towards your right knee. Pause here. Keep lifting your shoulders as high as you can. And switch. Extend your right leg, bend your left knee, and twist your right elbow towards that left knee. Keep lifting your head and shoulders as high as you can as you hover your body here. Now let's switch, alternating from side to side, one and then the other, going nice and slow. Take your time. Do your best. Take a rest if you need to, but try and hang in there. For five, four, three, two, and one. Hug your knees in, let your belly relax. One final pose before we end our practice today. Bring your feet flat down onto the floor. And walk your heels in as close as you can so that you could maybe brush your heels with your fingertips. Plant your hands down onto the mat alongside your body. Press the palms of your hands down. Press your shoulders down as you start to lift your hips away from the floor. Press the back of your head into the mat so that the back curve of your neck is lifted away from the floor. Press your feet down to lift your hips up as high as you can, stretching your belly. And slowly release, rolling your spine back down towards the floor. And let's do that bridge pose one more time. Press your hands down, press your shoulders down, press the back of your head down, and lift through your hips. Use the strength of your legs to help you really pump your hips up as high as you can. Keep pressing everything else down into the floor. As you stretch through your belly, lifting your hips up, up, up as high as you can. And then gently release. 
all the way down to the floor. You can hug your knees in one more time, giving yourself a little squeeze, stretch out your spine. And then slowly extend your feet down all the way to the end of your mat. Let your palms rotate up towards the ceiling. And let your eyes softly close. Take a few moments here to let your breath and heart rate return to a resting state, nice and slow. Focus your awareness on whatever sensations are pulsing through your body right now. And as you scan your body, let yourself relax, releasing tension anywhere that you might be holding, wherever you feel some tightness or some gripping. Relax your body with each breath. The more you can relax, the more benefit you're going to get from this pose, from this moment. Letting yourself integrate everything that we've done. Letting your body rest. It's important after a workout, after you get your heart rate up, you're burning those calories, working your muscles, you've got to make sure that you give yourself time to rest afterwards. Your body needs that time to recuperate and restore itself. So please feel free to stay here as long as you can, as long as your body needs it. Whenever you're ready, slowly roll yourself over to one side, coming to a comfortable fetal position, and just pause right here. Continue to let yourself be relaxed and steady. And then you can begin to slowly press yourself up coming to a comfortable seated position. Grow tall through your spine. And you may even desire to keep your eyes closed to stay in this meditative space. And I invite you to just use this opportunity to give yourself some thanks and appreciation for engaging in this seven day practice, for setting aside the time to do this today. This is a gift that you've given to yourself. So thank yourself. You deserve it. And remember, losing weight is not just about torturing our body or forcing ourselves to conform to some image of beauty. Losing weight, burning calories, taking care of ourselves is about a commitment to health and wellness. It's that gift you give to yourself to take care of yourself. So thank you for letting me guide you on that journey. Visit my website, jenhillman.com, to learn more ways that you can empower your life and take back control of your health. And don't forget to subscribe to Yoga TX so you can stay up to date with this full seven day challenge. I look forward to sharing more with you tomorrow. Leave your comments below. Let me know how your progress is coming along and encourage each other to keep up the good work. Have an awesome day. Namaste. Just a little bit deeper. Notice how the stretch changes 
Where do you feel it the most? Send your breath to that place. And we'll slowly come all the way back up. 